Hey, this is Greg Milby, Kentucky's Heartland, Kentucky'sHeartland.com, sharing the stories, people, and events powering the Heartland. And with me is my buddy Glenn today. Thank you for having me. We're pretty today, aren't we? We're great. Glenn, I'm telling you. So I have been following this event for quite a while. It is a unique event, and it is definitely uh, an event that is for an agricultural area. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this year is the 10th annual Lewis Crozier Tractor Cruise. Right. All right, so tell a little bit about it. So it's next Sunday, September next, the 8th. be next Sunday, uh, September the 8th, starting at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time at the Cecilia Bank here in Cecilia. Um, actually, I would like to talk a little bit about Lewis Crozier and how Please this do. actually got started. Please do. Uh, Lewis was a native of Hardin County, grew up in Hardin County, graduated from West Hardin in 1964. And upon graduation, he wanted to be a tractor mechanic, farm tractor mechanic. So he went to Mr. Harold and Aline Lewis that owned Lewis Equipment in Cecilia and asked for a job. They hired him immediately, and they sent him to International Harvester Mechanic School in Chicago, Illinois. Hmm. And he graduated from that with high honors and came back to the dealership there in Cecilia and was their farm tractor and equipment mechanic. And was a mechanic there for 44 years. And in 1976, he married a hometown girl. Her name was Sharon Hay. And her dad and her mom and her worked mm -hmm. at the Laker Drive-In there in Stevensburg. They got married in 76. And unfortunately, uh, that same year, Lewis's dad was tragically killed in a farming accident. He got called in a round baler and got killed mm -hmm. and that was a um, driving force and motivation for Lewis to start up Kentucky 86 Fire and Rescue because at the time we did not have a fire department in Cecilia we had to use E-Town Fire Department so Lewis was very passionate obviously about farm safety because his dad was killed so Lewis and many others started Kentucky 86 Fire Department in 1978 Hmm. What was really unique about it is they did not have a fire station to go to. So Lewis's grandmother, Miss Meredith, lived right next to Lewis Equipment. And she had passed away, and that house was vacant. So they used that house for a couple of years as the actual fire department. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Huh. So then, like in 1981, is whenever the Ruritan and some members of Cecilia got together and decided on a location which is where Kentucky 86 is now. But what a lot of people don't realize is Lewis, along with others, started Kentucky 86 Fire Department. His fingerprints are all over His Cecilia. His fingerprints are all over Cecilia. Yeah. Many, wore many different hats. So uh, this event is, is definitely one of those that uh, we celebrate Lewis. We celebrate his life right. and, and what he meant to this community. And uh, so the 10th anniversary of this deal, mm -hmm. the 10th annual, and uh, it's, it is a very unique event because it is a tractor parade. Right. That is a really long yes, tractor parade. A if you long... take a motorcycle uh, poker run uh, and you take a, a, a parade and you take a, a, a tractor games and you put it all together, you have this event. Right. <laughs> it's right. a little bit of everything. Yes, it is. It is. We have, um, we pull hay wagons where families can ride, kids can ride, families can ride. If you don't have a farm tractor, then you are more than welcome to ride on the wagons with us. And we just make a great day of it. All right, it's just so. a way that we can honor Lewis, remember Lewis, remember our friend. Mm-hmm but also to raise money for Lewis Crozier Scholarship. So let's talk about that in just a second. So the event starts at 2 o'clock on September the 8th at uh, the Sicilian Bank there in mm -hmm. Cecilia. Right. And uh, so you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna head out of town? We're going to head out at 2 o'clock sharp. We're going to roll out of town. We're going to go to Old Stevensburg, probably hit Nike Pike Road. The and as you go up route. that big hill at Nike Pike, Pike, you have to do the woo like we it's a roller coaster. And go woo. Okay. We may even go past, sure? go across the old train tunnel there in Eastview. We huh. just don't know yet. So you just kind of make that up as you go. We will. We are. We're going to decide this weekend. We're just okay. uh, a lot of us are farmers, and we've been extremely busy, and we haven't decided the exact route, but it will be in the Eastview area. All right. So then you come back all the way back to Cecilia. Come to all the way bank. back to Cecilia. This usually lasts about three to four hour run. And we will come back to Cecilia, 
and we will go to the Ruritan building where there will be a barbecue meal mm -hmm. provided for us. All right, good so. deal. And so the money that is raised for this scholarship comes from donations from people that come out that day. It does. Now, we okay. do not charge an entry fee or anything like that for the tractor ride, but we do pass the hat around, and anyone that wants to donate to the scholarship fund, mm -hmm. they can. Oh, so we've usually been racing. Uh, we've been collecting anywhere from 1000 to 1500 that's for great. the last 10 years. And so that scholarship, all that money goes out this next year to somebody that's uh, that's graduating from the area that's uh, that's actually in their certain restrictions as far as the scholarship. Yes, so the kind only, of run that yes, down. Yes, the, the entire amount goes to the Lewis Crozier Scholarship Fund. I think they give away two $500 scholarships. The only requirement is, is the student has to live in the Kentucky 86 area. That well, makes all the sense in the world, right, especially since, after you share that story. It makes all the sense in the world right. that they should live right mm -hmm. there. Right. All right. So, and that's it. And, and there is an application process, I'm sure, that... Yes, the, you could the, go the, to your counselor at your school at Central Hardin mm -hmm. and pick up an application, and they will be judged based on that. All right. I don't have a tractor. I wish I did. My wife, you're watching. I need a tractor. So if you if you don't have a tractor, you're saying that you can just show up and you can ride along in some wagons. Yes, absolutely. We have wagons that anyone can ride on the wagons, and you don't have to be farm backgrounded, farm based. You don't have to own a tractor. Just hmm. come out and enjoy the day with us. How many tractors do you have in this thing? This thing has really grown. The first year we did it, I would like to step back a couple of steps sure. and explain a little bit more about Lewis and how this got started. Um, Lewis passed away of esophageal cancer in 2008, and uh, he just meant the world to our community, and Charlie Williams and David Yates and myself decided that we wanted to have a tractor cruise, a tractor ride, just to remember Lewis, just to ride down the road and reflect on what he meant to us, and mm -hmm. just to remember our friend. Did you think this thing would last 10 years? I actually did. I, th Good. I thought it would last, Good. but it has really grown because that first year, I think we had like 20 tractors at the most, and last year we have 48. So, I mean, wow. this thing is really, really Kevin grown. Moberly doesn't ride in that thing, does he? Yeah, he does. Oh, does he have a booster seat on his <laughs> tractor so he can see over the steering wheel? Him and his boy I'm actually just messing both, with you, Kevin. I him like and his boy him. actually, both Kyle is actually with us. They both have tractors, mm -hmm. and actually Kevin's wife, Terry, rides with us. Good. So, I, yeah. I think... I think this is such a unique event, and it, and, and and that's why I was, I was so happy that you were going to come in and talk about this because you know being such a unique event, some people maybe in other parts of the county or other parts of the heartland may not even know this goes on because right. you're, you're hitting a lot of the back roads. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're on tractors. Yes, we do. We want to stay off of the main roads, uh, obviously for safety reasons. We want to stay off the main roads, but. I think yes, it would be we, such a unique, unique event. Even some of our soldiers on Fort Knox, you know, you're here for two years. If you want to get the full taste of Kentucky, you want to know what it's all about to be a part of this heartland, this is one of those events you need to come out and ride on a wagon and spend three or four hours because it, it is a slow uh, meandering through the countryside. It is slow meandering, but this is Cecilia. This is small town USA. I mean, that's... We're just a small town community where everyone knows everyone. I mean, we're, you know, and there'll be people that knows we're coming and mm -hmm. they'll be standing on the yard waving. And I, it's know, just I remember really, see uh, really people experience. on the side of the roads with American flags right. periodically, mm -hmm. too. I think that's great. So, again, sat, uh, Sunday, September the 8th, starts at 2 o'clock at uh, the Sicilian Bank there, Bank there in, in Sicilia. Sicilia. If you do decide to bring a tractor, we you can unload your tractor at... So see a farm service or Nutrient Ag, that's a place that you can unload your tractor if you bring it on trailer. You can also go to Lewis Equipment or so see a tractor service there by the tracks mm -hmm. and unload there. And All right. So spend the, spend the day with us and... And then eat good. And then eat good. I mean, the very, it, it, that's the best part. Oh, I, gu I guarantee you. I guarantee you're going to eat good when it's mm -hmm. done. Right. All right. Well, good deal. So all that information uh, is at, uh, if you're watching this at Kentucky's Heartland, it's on the community calendar page. If you're watching it on the community calendar page, uh, all that information is right below this video too. So get out, uh, support this event because, I mean, you're talking about community. We're raising funds uh, and remembering a great guy uh, that was just an amazing asset to our community and a legend and also going to be 
be helping a future legend when we talk about a scholarship. There we go. Glenn, appreciate the time, man. Thank you, You Greg. probably got something to dig up and, and something to fix, so I don't Actually, want to take any more of your time. Actually, going back to the field here to this afternoon. But of course you are. One thing I would like to say about Lewis that a lot of people did not realize that Lewis was instrumental in starting, but Lewis Crozier and our former sheriff, Charlie Williams, mm -hmm. along with Woody Will, actually sat down many years ago and wrote the farm safety program that is used in the Commonwealth today. Really? Those three started that. I had and no that, idea. That is used for training for all fire and EMT personnel. I'm not a firefighter, mm -hmm. and I'm not on the fire department, but I do know that they started that to train firefighters in farm safety how to get someone out of a out of a farm accident, a tractor rollover, or an entrapment, or whatever the case may be. But they actually hmm. started that for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. True. Which was very, says so much about Lewis Crozier. Yeah, that's a so true much. example of taking tragedy and turning it into triumph. Mm -hmm. cool Absolutely. Stuff. Glenn, appreciate the story, man. Thank you, Greg. All right. Hope everyone comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, just if you need to get in contact with me, my cell number is 270 723 nine five zero eight we'd love to talk to you about it hope everyone can make it and you're welcome yeah if, if you didn't get that number it's below the video or you can find it. it's probably scribbled on the uh on the caboose there and in, in, so. yes and it's on my <laughs> facebook page too so all right he's glenn i'm greg and this is kentucky's heartland thanks for watching thank you